welcome back to the channel guys farm sim snowy here so it is february already can you believe it we have some new mods we only have three today so i thought i'd put them out on display and we'll go round them like that because i don't mind doing it when there's just a few i know that's a bit lazy but first of all today we have this this is the john deere 3765 by pepe 978 this is a troweled forage harvester so you hook that up to your tractor i'll show you all that in a second it works the same as uh, big forage harvesters with a pipe out it will hook up to a trailer hence we've well, got that trailer there only a pin hitch trailer though so very cool this is three slots if you're on console and you will find this one under tools and on under forage harvester headers and it is cool i didn't realize how many forage harvester headers we had base game it is there right at the end 29,900 to buy it requires 130 horsepower to run so not too bad obviously it does say one slot there because we've got one out on display but it is three slots 2.4 meter wide working width and it will run at six miles per hour when it is running and it says there grass wood chips and chaff that will produce so there's no options it is what it is you can't configure it up and that is it so i've got a tractor here somewhere just to show you how it sort of works if you're not familiar with this and i've got the help window open so if we hook up to this like so if i do l1 for me because i'm on playstation and x to unfold heather ever who's ever header it pushes it out to one side so obviously as you drive like that it will be offset from your tractor so pretty cool but what i'm going to do is try and back it up to that trailer because with a bit of luck he says i think it's roughly about there there we go Ooh, that didn't like that too much did it so it does hook up to the trailer and now if I do L1 again and pipe out that should recognize that trailer spin round there we go the revs kick in through the PTO it's found the trailer now it's got a quite cool sound when you turn it on I know the tractor's revving its guts out but if I do L1 and turn on header <laughs> sounds quite cool and then we can lower the header down if I get on the right implement lower pick up L1 and circle and then you'd go through your crop like that and it would chuck it all out the back into that trailer so there you go that is the first mod of the day, the John Deere 3765 by Pepe978. And then the next one is this blue fella. This is the TPS-001 by Serega56. This is a bell loader so it's a bell loading wagon as you can see i did put some bells on it it doesn't come like that quite cool nicely detailed what i do like as well is we've got these little eyelets and these are going to be where your tension straps are so obviously we can come up fasten that down but again what i do like as well we do have two on the back so if we go up to the back we can strap that down even better so they would come right across front to back with the straps very cool indeed so this one you'll find under your tools and this will be under bell loaders 
and there it is this is 1500 to buy so very very cheap this is two slots on console again it says one there because we've got one out on display we'll take round and square bells there is a couple of options we can do so spare wheel no or yes which is what i went for puts a spare wheel at the front like so main color is going to change that out of all of this lot and then your rim color pretty self-explanatory is going to change that pretty cool no license plate option but we do have lights and that going on and when you do detach the old jockey wheel spins around and you can even see the little plug there for the trailer lights that's pretty cool very nice so that's number two for today that's the tps dash zero zero one by serega 56 and the last one for today very quick video this is the lizard s8 sorry sxhv dash 30 this is by javier zzs and in brackets bbm and vanquish 081 this is a cultivator so you'll find that in tools and cultivators very cool nicely detailed we do have the roll cage on the back this is three slots if you're on console so like i say in tools up to cultivators down the end there 32,500 to buy it requires 190 horsepower to run three slots on console says one there again because we've got it out on display 7.9 meter wide so it's pretty wide and it will run at nine miles per hour when you're using it all we can change is the main color which i think you guys have sussed that out already like so and then your design color again pretty self-explanatory like that so if you want to be seen go for something like that and i have got a tractor i know it's a bit overkill i know you guys know how to use a cultivator but i'll just show you the unfolding animation now obviously this is quite hefty so it is a bit heavy so really you should have a weight on the front as you can see it's just tipping up we can unfold that like so and then lower it down and then off you would go but that is it so that was the lizard sxhv-30 by javier zzs that is an s isn't it yeah bbm and vanquish 081 that is it for the mods for today nice and easy nice and straightforward hope you have all enjoyed the short review if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty